What's going on everybody? This is Brandon Hill and today I'm going to show you how to make this. From scratch in the machine. And this is a chill hop lo-fi remix of Orange Soda by Baby Keem. So let's get into it. One thing I want to try with these tutorials that's different than my first one that I did. I want to create this these checklists that anybody, especially beginners, can use to go along with this video to try to recreate the beat themselves or to uh, swap out different songs but follow the same structure. This was built in Notion and I will put the link down in the description for this checklist and it'll be free for now but down the line once I collect a bunch of these I'll probably have a Patreon or something so I could try to support myself with this channel. I will use it as reference to recreate this beat here and it comes with all these screenshots as well. So let's get into this. Okay first things first I will do a brand new clean project since we are building this from scratch. First step done. So go to a, uh, groups within a browser for this beat here. I used Crate Cuts and I used the Emerald Eyes kit. So I'll load that up. If you don't have Crate Cuts, I'll leave a link in the description as well. Okay, so next I set the BPM to 80. For the first pattern, I'm going to set the length to two bars. There we go. And now we're ready to record. So I'll record the six snare, and that just means pad six, which is the snare here six snare. So I will record this and I'll keep the metronome on. Quantize. Now do the kick. Okay, we have that. All these toggles here shows a screenshot of what I just recorded. So you can see, if you couldn't follow this video, you could see here the exact spot where I placed the snare and then the kick as well. So next, I wanted to add some variation to this pattern. And I, this kit here in particular has some cool perks. Just some real lo-fi sounding uh, vibes. I want to fill in these empty spaces right here with some elements. I'll start off with this one. So I'll quantize, and then I'll fill in this empty space here. So I actually put that right here, I think. Now I'll record this just to fill in this empty space back here now. So now we have that. So within this kit is this piano here on pad 14. And I wanted to make a progression out of that, so I went to keyboard. I changed the type from chromatic to minor. I kept the root uh, note as C3 here. Now I'm going to record, and, and here in the guide you see sequence C3, D3, EB3. That corresponds to C3, D3, EB3, so basically... And this is the progression that I played, so I'm going to have the metronome back on and record this. Next, we're going to do this closed hi-hat, number three. With it selected, I hit no repeat, and then I'll have it set to one-eighths, and I kind of want to record something like this. We have other beat elements, the seven clap here. For this one, I really just wanted to add more variation to the snares that are hitting right here. And I just did this, pretty simple. So right here. Now I have this open hi-hat, which I think I just recorded twice. This is just a little too loud, so I'm going to bring that down in the mix. Now 
And I felt like this beat needed an 808, which this kit doesn't have. So I wanted to replace this sound here with an 808 that I have in my browser. So my browser is hidden right now just because I have this here, but to, un to hide or unhide your browser, hit the key F4 on your keyboard. So to find an 808, I just went to one shots, drums, kick, and then I typed in 808 and I just browsed all of mine. This is the one that I eventually settled on. So now I have the 808 loaded here. I'll go to keyboard mode, make sure I'm in minor. And now you can see the sequence here, C3, C3, and you would just follow here. So this would be C3, 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 D3, D3, E, B3, D3. So it'll go. Okay, so let's do that. wanted to add this key sound right here so what I did is I went to chords mode and I selected no repeat and when you're in chords mode and you select no repeat you have an arpeggiator that's created I make sure that I have one eighth selected now I'll record the sequence Okay, so there's that. What I like to do to boost my kicks is link them together. So there are two kicks here. To link them together for a bigger sound, I'll go to link group here and I'll set this to one. And then I'll set this to one as well. So now both of them are hitting. Whereas before it was like this. So a little more thumpy. It sounds a little more natural, I guess. Okay, with that, we're done building the basic beat. So at this point, I was trying to think of what vocal would work with this because when I went into making this beat, I didn't think that I was going to make an Orange Soda remix. I tried out Orange Soda. Whenever I decide to make a remix, I need to get the, the acapella, the vocals. So I go to Beat Source and I'll search Baby Keem Orange Soda. I'll find the file here and I'll add it to cart and I'll buy it and download it. And from there you get an MP3 file. But to extract the vocals, you would use this source here, lalal.ai. Right here, you would, uh, once you download from BeatSource, you would drag and drop the file into here. I already did this, so let me just, okay. So basically I'm in my downloads file and I'm gonna drag it onto here. And it'll take some time. So now you have this preview here. Bitch, sit on my face, I attack that. And it's not the most perfect, but it's the cleanest you could get. With that, you would process the file. Okay, so with it here, you would download the vocal. You would get this here, but it downloads as an MP3, and that's a problem because you can only drag WAV files into machine. So I use this here, which is also linked in the, the guide as well, cloudconvert.com. You'll drag and drop the MP3 file here, and then you'll select convert to WAV. Just get ready for when that's done. So I'm going to create a new group here. I'll download this. Now that I have this WAV file, I will drag it into this sound slot here. Okay, so now I have on this pad here. Bitch, sit on my face, I attack that. So now I have that active. Now I have the vocal in here. And before I start making an arrangement, I try to see if the vocal goes with the beat, if they kind of vibe together. So for that, I am in ideas mode right now. I'll go to song mode. I'm going to right click, insert scene one, which is the only scene that I have. And I'm going to drag this out pretty far. It doesn't matter how far, just long enough so you can hear enough of the beat to decide if the beat works. With that, I'll insert a clip right here. I'll drag it out for the length. And you can see here, there's no waveform showing, which means that the audio is not active. I will go to plugin. It's on sampler right now. I'll hit this 40 encoder and I'll choose audio right here. Now you can see that the waves are here. Bitch, sit on my face, I that. And that sounds terrible because it's not on beat. We have to time stretch that. And whenever I make a remix, I Google Orange Soda BPM or whatever song it is. I find the original BPM of the song, which is 85. That is what you would put right here. Tempo, that's the source tempo of the original song, which is 85. It is not this right here. This is completely different. This is the tempo of our beat. This is the tempo of the original song. So now if I play this back. Bitch, sit on my face, I attack that. 
choose up now. So now it's time stretched and it's on beat. I'm just going to delete everything for now so we have a clear canvas for later. I'll go back to ideas mode. And now I'll start to create different scenes to eventually build my arrangement with. First things first, this is the full pattern right here with all the elements. And before I start deleting stuff and creating scenes, I like to duplicate this by holding Option on my keyboard, dragging it down. And I duplicate it several times because I don't know how many times I'm going to need it. Now I can start deleting things. The first scene is going to be the intro. So I don't want to have all these elements playing in the intro. I want it to come later in the song. So right here you'll see delete all the sounds except the following. So one, two, four, six. That corresponds uh, to the key numbers here. So I'm going to delete everything except one, two, four, six, fifteen, and sixteen. I am going to go to events, select all, and then all of these are selected here, and I'll basically unselect all these here. Unselect 1, 2, 4, 6, 15, and 16. With that, I'll hit Shift, Clear, and now I've cleared all that out. So this is what this... And you can confirm with this screenshot here if yours looks the same. So next, duplicate this scene to create the next one. So Ideas, Shift, Duplicate. Now I've duplicated that scene. And I'll just go on to the next pattern here that I will edit. So delete all sounds except the following. Basically everything from before except I'm also going to keep these three. I'll go to events again, select all, and then I'll repeat. I'm going to unselect 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15, 16. So I'll delete that, shift, clear, and this is what it sounds like. And you can see visually that those elements have been added. Now I'm going to repeat again, ideas, shift, duplicate, move on to the next pattern. So delete all sounds except the following. Or this pattern doesn't need to be edited because all of the sounds are active in this scene. So I'm not going to touch that at all. Okay, I'm going to du duplicate this again, go to pattern 1-3, and all the sounds are active except delete pattern four, or delete 14. So basically I'm just going to delete this piano sound and have this. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this to create scene one four. Go to pattern one four. And now all sounds is scene one three are active except you want to delete sounds in pads seven through fifteen. So basically delete all this here. And that could be a breakdown scene as well. And with that, we're done creating our scenes and we're ready to start arranging. And we are going to arrange first by using append. First go to song view and make sure it's blank, which we did. Song view is blank. Hit the scene button to take you to your scenes and you're going to select append at the top here. And now when you press these you'll be able to append them to your song. Select the scenes in the following order. So this is the scene sequence you want to go to. So scene 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 4, and 1, three again. So I've just appended all that. It showed up here. And if I go to shift song, you could see up here that I have seen one and so forth. So this is what it sounds like. Okay, uh, the next step is to change the bar length of all of these. This is stuff you have to experiment with when you're making the song, but since I'm just walking you through step by step how to do this, I already know how many bars I need each scene to be. So I'm going to go to scene. Scene 1 is going to be 4 bars. Scene 1-1, one, one, also 4 bars. Scene 1-2, 4 bars. Scene 1-3, four bars. Scene 1-2 for the second time, eight bars. Scene 1-4 and 1-3 are going to be two bars left alone. So this is what the arrangement looks like now. I'm going to add back the clip with the vocal. And again, the clip's not active here. Make sure I'm in audio module, which I am, and then I can just click here. And now... Bitch sit on my face, I attack that. Choose up, loud Jonathan, I pack him. But I don't want the acapella to start right when the song starts. I want to have the intro and then I want it to go into the acapella. So let's see how this sounds. Bitch sit on my face, I attack that. Choose up. 
now we have that and to make to dull out the vocal a little bit and make it more lo-fi lo-fi sounding i wanted to add a filter to this so i added a filter and i set the frequency cut off when it comes to my bitch i'm straight active dirt ball in a cool smoking cat piss okay so it's a little dulled out and the guide i said 3.9 kilohertz i have 3.7 right here that's fine it doesn't need to be that exact so with that we're set with our basic song and now we're going to add some variation to the scene. So I'm going to convert uh, pattern one and group one of scene one into clips. So I'll hit convert to clips. I'll delete this clip in the first two bars. So I'll keep this here. I'm going to add a little drum fill just to kind of transition into the beat. So if you click on the screenshot right here, you can enlarge it. And basically I'm talking about this, these three little snare hits right here on the sixth snare. This is how it is right now. But then I'm just going to add these two snare hits right here. And now it sounds like this. And you'll notice it sounds like a little more of a transition. Bitch shit on my face, I attack that. Next, convert pattern one and group one, group A1 of scene one three into clips, which is here. I'll convert to clips. Delete the clip in the first two bars, keep the clip in the last two bars. So I would do that. I just wanted to create some variation by deleting a lot of things and creating some silence. So you could see that I deleted a lot of this, which is what I'll do here. So basically looking at the second half of this, I'm just going to delete this. So I'm deleting that. See how that sounds. You act like a loud me, I wanna fuck you. You the tough to kill me, I won't touch you. So you see how this you'll see this emptiness right here kind of creates some space for the vocal and then transitions into the drop kind of. Allow me, I wanna fuck you. You the tough to kill me, I won't touch you. So I wanted to accentuate these uh, the 808 kick right here, which is these three beats. So I'm just gonna do that with the kick up here as well and now you could hear this okay that sounds good next up scene one two bar 19 which is right here so basically i'm going to convert this to clips keep that one okay so here's the clip here i'm going to do something similar as before, where I'm just deleting all of this here, delete that, and this is what I'm left with. I like that. Same thing here. I'm just going to accentuate the, the 808 with the kick right here. Now I'm lay you on a mattress, bitch. So now we're done with the variation. So it just adds a little more. You could listen to this part right here and just hear the difference. You know I love it when you talk dirty. Messy. You my own sort of shorty. You act like a loud me, I wanna fuck you. You the tough to kill me, I won't touch you. You want me drop a band on some cute shoes. You want me be the man you can bend to. You let me beat it up, you let me practice. Now I'm finna lay you on a mattress. Bitch, sit on my face, I attack that. Little bitch. Okay, now we're on to the ear candy and the effects part of this tutorial. And I realized that the tutorial is kind of long at this point and it's going to take a while to go through and add all of these elements. So you could follow this guide and it'll guide you on how to do this, but for the sake of time, I'm going to open up the original file. And we are just I'm just going to walk you through what I added. Let me know in the comments if you appreciate the fact that I'm trying not to go way too into the weeds with adding all these effects, or if you want me to walk through that, because I definitely can. But basically, I, add, I added this effects group, and I added all these sounds that I either got from my library or Splice. So I got this crash sound. And I have this downlifter here that I added. <laughs> And then right after the downlift is that crash. And then let's see at the beginning, just to add some ear candy, I put this here. It's this little baby scratch. And then also before the intro, I wanted to add some other ear candy. So I found this laughter 
sound from Splice. <laughs> and then I added a filter on it to dull it out and give it a more lo-fi sound. And then I put a little bit of a grain delay, which kind of gave it a little bit of an echo delay. <laughs> the intro is fully complete. Okay, so this right after this little A sound you hear that is this here and I felt like there was a pause in between uh, BB Keem's two bars and I just wanted to fill that space with this A so you could listen out to that. Just So it's just filling that space adding another element and then right here I added this this chime sound and I felt like it helped transition into this scene that has the piano playing so you can hear that right here I just have this I just found this on splice I just wanted to add some more ear candy and help transition into this scene so you hear this flicker sound here and then again I'm just trying to fill out the space so right here I added the scratch sound again and right here I added the A sound again and then that sound that I just accidentally hit was this right here which is a backspin sound and I just thought that sounded really cool because in this clip here we took out a lot of elements so I thought the backspin kind of sounded like it cut all of that out and then it transitions into the the main chorus again tell me I want to fuck you you the type to kill me I won't touch you you want me drop a band on some cute shoes I guess it didn't transition into the chorus but transitioned into the next scene Mattress. just another baby scratch here right before it goes into the chorus this time now I'm finna lay you on the mattress bitch sit on my face right here I have I have this little sweep sound just this little sound and I have this down lifter here just cause it's kind of a breakdown in this scene but this sweep kind of leads into the down lift so that's why I added it there and let's listen the cool smoking campus love bitch shut the fuck up tell you Okay, so with that, the song is completed. Um, this is my first time doing this style of tutorial with this much in depth, and the song isn't even really that complicated, but as you can see, it kind of takes a while to explain everything step by step. So let me know in the comments if you like this condensed version, or if you really want me to walk through the step by step that you see here. Because even with the condensed version, you could follow these, um, you could follow this guide here and follow how to add all the risers and downlifters and how to add all the special effects and stuff. So let me know, the feedback really helps. And with that, we'll listen to the full song. When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active. Dirt ball in the cool smoking campus. Lil bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Ayy, lil bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Ayy, you know I love it when you talk dirty. Messy, you my orange soda shorty. You act like the lil me, I wanna fuck you. You the type to kill me, I won't touch you. You want me drop a band on some cute shoes You want me be the man you can vent to You let me beat it up, you let me practice Now I'm finna lay you on the mattress Bitch sit on my face, I attack that Shoes up, Lil John, I'm finna pack him When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active Dirt ball in the cool smoking campus Lil bitch, shut the fuck up Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up Hey, no bitch, 
shut the fuck tell your best friend hey shut the fuck up hey all right there's that thank you for watching this long tutorial let me know what you think and i'll see you on the next one